The Famous in America channel is back and in today's video we are going to pay homage to an astronaut, a young rapper and other incredible personalities, but first, be sure to subscribe to our channel, as this helps us a lot to continue bringing valuable content to you. Let's take a look at today's honorees. Number 1, Carol Joseph Bobko. U.S. Air Force Officer Carol Joseph Bo Bobko died on August 17, 2023 at the age of 85. Bobko, in addition to being an officer, was also an aerospace engineer, test pilot and astronaut for the USAF and NASA. Bobko was the first graduate of the United States Air Force Academy to travel into space. Bobko was a member of the first graduating class of the United States Air Force Academy. After receiving his navigator's commission and rating, he attended pilot training at Bartow Air Force Base, Florida, and Vance Air Force Base, Oklahoma. In 1960 he completed his flight training and received his pilot's wings. Bobko became part of NASA Astronaut Group 7 in September 1969, following the cancellation of the Manned Orbiting Laboratory MOL, program. A veteran of three space flights, Bobko has logged a total of 386 hours in space. He was the pilot of STS-6, April 4-9, 1983, and was mission commander on STS-51D, April 12-19, 1985, and STS-51J, October 3 to 7, 1985. He is survived by his wife F. Diane Welsh, a son and a daughter. Number 2, Gary Young. Garrett Allen Robertson Young, better known as Gary Young, the original drummer for the pioneering indie rock band Pavement, has died in Stockton, California, his home at age 70. Gary played on their revered debut album Slanted and Enchanted. He played in several local bands in the 1980s while booking punk shows in California's Central Valley. When singer-songwriter and guitarist Machmas and guitarist Scott Spiral Stairs, Ken Berg formed Pavement as a duo in 1989, they recorded their first EPs at Young's home studio, Louder Than You Think, and he played drums on the tracks Young left the group in 1993 after a tour of Japan, during which his drinking became a bigger problem. He recorded several albums and got sober in the late 90s. A documentary about him, Louder Than You Think, had its world premiere at this year's South by Southwest. Number 3, Walter Ipolani. Hawaiian singer, guitarist and songwriter, Walter Ipolani, better known as Brother Walta, died on Friday, August 18, of liver cancer, which he had fought for more than a year, at the age of 68. He became well known in the 1980s for playing shows in Waikiki, which is also how he got his nickname, Brada Walta. Often considered the father of Hawaiian reggae, he was given the title because he and his band Island Afternoon were responsible for bringing Hawaiian-style reggae music to the global stage in the 1980s and 1990s. Brada Walta attended a concert last year in July on the Big Island of Hawaii that was organized by Hawaiian musicians as a tribute and to raise money for his medical expenses. He spoke about his battle with cancer while receiving chemotherapy and said he might never sing again. This was his last public appearance. Number 4, Young Capone. Young Capone, a rapper protege of Jermaine Dupri, has died aged 35 according to his publicist. He was 35 years old and no cause of death was revealed. Capone, real name Rodriguez Smith, had been missing from Chicago since July. It was unclear whether he appeared before his death or why he disappeared. After the news of his death, famous rapper Jermaine Dupri, who helped young Capone's career, shared a snippet of the song, I'm Hot, by the deceased artist, along with a photo of him in a car. Young Darrow and J.I.D. also mourned the boy's death. Young Capone released two albums, 2010's The Life of a Youngsta, followed by Paper and Politics. Both were released before he changed his name to Dope Boy R.A. His latest album, Slum Made 2.0, was released in late 2022. 
Number 5, Kyle Turner. Kyle Turner, Rabbitoh's premiership winner, has died aged 31. The cause of his death was not revealed. Versatile Turner, a former South Sydney forward, played 91 NRL games in red and green over his career, helping the team to a drop-breaking grand final victory in his debut season in 2014. Turner also represented NSW Country and Indigenous All-Stars during his career and was a beloved figure at Redfern throughout his six-year career. A neck injury ended his career and took him back to his hometown of Kunaburabran, where he played for his local club. At this stage, neither Kunaburabran Unicorns nor South Sydney Rabbitohs have confirmed the news of his death. Number 6. Bobby Eli Musician Bobby Eli died on August 17, 2023 at the age of 77 after a long illness. Details have not yet been given. Eli was an American musician, arranger, composer and record producer from Philadelphia. He was a founding member and lead guitarist of the Philadelphia studio band MFSB. When we look at the biggest soul music movement of the 70s, the sound of Philadelphia, we have Eli as one of the most important and influential musicians of that movement. A great loss to music, no doubt. Well friends, our video has come to an end and if you liked the content, leave your likes and comments, this motivates us a lot to continue this work. Have a blessed weekend everyone.